to see you, Your Majesty. Welcome to... It's, it's more beautiful than I dared to imagine. And heavy, too. Our experts estimate it's worth a small fortune. Of course, now the question becomes, what do you wish to do with this fine stone? Shall I deposit the money from the sale into the treasury? A truly selfless act. I am constantly in awe of your generous and noble spirit. Putting the safety of your people before your own reward. Bravo, your majesty. Bravo. The Treasury's health is robust, but we must always be wary of unnecessary expenditures and watch out for possible avenues of profit. With that in mind, I would like to discuss the thorny issue of child benefits, which were abolished under your brother's rule. There are vocal elements within the community who are clamoring for us to bring it back. In the interests of the Treasury, and of the long-term welfare of the people, I have a counter-proposal. It's somewhat radical, but rather brilliant, if you don't mind me saying. We charge people for every child they have. This would keep the population low, but more importantly, the treasury high. Is it really fair to bring new life into such an uncertain world? And won't that gold go to help the children who have already been born? Of course, you may also choose to keep Logan's policies. The matter is entirely in your hands. Very good, Your Majesty. Why change things when they are going so well? Perhaps Logan was right in following this course of action. Shall we proceed with the rest of your appointments? Here is the royal agenda for the day. As you can see, you have two audiences in the throne room to begin. I've heard rumors that Reaver's latest proposals are both scandalous and delicious. It should be most entertaining. His demands are not entirely unreasonable, and they would strike a chord with the populace, but we must always keep in mind the cost. At your service. My lord? How are you this fine day, sir? Your Majesty? All stand to attention for the King of Albion. King himself. This hearing concerns the future of the Bowerstone Shelter and Orphanage. Paige will speak for the disenfranchised people of the city. Reaver will dispute her cause. 
You may speak. Your Majesty, the shelter has long been the only refuge for the homeless, the poor, and the orphaned. And until we can change the whole world for the better, it will continue to be their only hope of survival. Isn't it time we held out a helping hand to those who need it most? The shelter is underfunded and the building has fallen into disrepair. Invest in the shelter and orphanage and perhaps we can begin to create a better future for Albion's forgotten people. I could not agree more. The city and its people are in dire need. But it is not charity they require. It is love. I propose we use this dilapidated building to help both them and ourselves. For love and money have always gone hand in hand. Let us inaugurate Bowerstone's first brothel. A brothel? A brothel, bordello, whorehouse. The name is unimportant. What matters is that the people get the love they need. And we get their money. Yes, it's for your majesty to decide. Refurnish the shelter and orphanage, or convert it into a house of ill repute. Do you not want to boast of a more progressive society? The poor of this city have suffered enough. We will renovate the shelter and orphanage. The Bowerstone shelter shall be refurbished at the Crown's expense. Thank you, Your Majesty. You've done the right thing. As you wish, Your Majesty. The parentless tykes and their destitute friends shall have a palace to call their own. Beggar, too lazy to own your own clothes, or perhaps an orphan aching for a bowl of gruel, then come to Reva Industries Shelter and Orphanage, where you'll find food, beds, clothes, and even new parents. No matter who you are, we care, even if you don't deserve it. Today, you will deal with a pressing environmental issue, the disposal of the city's waste. Reva will offer his proposal. A member of the Morningwood community will stand against him. You may speak. Your Majesty, I'm sure you will have noticed a certain aroma permeating the city of late, even more nauseating than usual. I fear it is not merely the stench of the underprivileged. Bowerstone is beginning to have a serious waste disposal issue. We require an inexpensive and efficient solution, and I believe I have hit upon one. Uh, now, currently, part of our waste is being disposed of in the Morningwood Marsh, with very little effort, Riva Industries could redirect all of the Bowerstone sewer system to flow directly into that region. As you know, it's a desolate place with no financial or cultural value to the kingdom. There could be little discussion as to the logic of this decision. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This isn't right. Not right at all. We're all children of the soil. It's in our hearts. It's in our blood. It's under our fingernails. What I mean is, we're all equal when it comes to dirt, like. From dirt we come to dirt we go, yes? We who reside in Morningwood have as good a claim to being clean as anyone. And what of Morningwood itself? Its nature spirits, its woodland... Morningwood is to be left unspoiled. We will find other ways to deal with Bowerstone's sewage problem. The King has spoken. Morningwood shall not be...